Hey there, folks. Welcome to part eight of Let's Play Vampire. All right. We made it to Lady Ashbury's mansion. Now, and we also defeated Sean Hampton as a skull. We defeated Giselle as a prelin. And Tom Watts as a, as a beast. And also, we also defeated Lottie as a skull. But this time... We're going to present ourselves at the Ashmore Club. Uh-oh. Lady Ashbury. Before we do that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to Whitechapel and hear those folks. I'm going to cure the folks in the dock as well. <laughs> At least move, okay? Yeah, we got some... We got three Steady, rookies. boys! <laughs> We've got one of them here! Ouch! The large beast. Just like Dyson. Oh my god, I've been spotted. Oh, 
Halt. Bist du jetzt? Fatigue. Good evening, Chris. Change you. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. How are the conditions in Whitechapel these days? When I think about all the people who died trying to reach England, it seems we escaped a war just to die on foreign shores, hated by all. Do you need any assistance? It depends. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. All right. Goodbye, Med. Now he, he, he cured her. I gotta find Albert. Clayton. Good evening, Doctor. You here? How are conditions in Whitechapel at the moment? I always thought it was my role to reveal what really happens in these forgotten parts of London. And you're not sure anymore? Emptied coffees. Cannibalism. Ugh. Walking dead. I'm trying to report the truth about what's going on, but no one believes it anymore. Cannibalism is messed up. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Goodbye. It's locked, all right. Door is locked. I was gonna meet you there, but I take it back. That's a wild beast of battle. We also defeated Mary. Are going down. We got an ill formed blinker skull. And they're very annoying. Uh, they're ill formed skulls. These yellow poison gas comes out of nowhere. Stop that. Yeah, and they keep bashing. Just like Dorothy. And when, when, a, when a blinker skull is defeated, an ill blinker skull, they explode. Seriously, why in tarnation would they have to explode?
All right. Cadogan. Hello there, buddy. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say a live tenant's a paying tenant. All right. How are conditions in Whitechapel at present? Let's ask. The way this sickness is spreading, I don't think there'll be enough new bloods to replace those tenants I'm losing from this bloody thing. That's messed up. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Savages. Absolute bloody savages, their appearance. Jesus, that made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Uh. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates. Do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. If I were entering into the world of street medicine, it would be on my terms and without such dubious associates as yourself, Mr. Bates. So it's a no, then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberer's shit. <laughs> you don't get the hint. Let's ask for a medical, shall we? Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Goodbye, man. Alright. We gotta go rescue... Oh, stop your lagging. We gotta rescue Albert, Shaoshan, Darius, Harry! I think that's six more folks to cure. Where are you, Darius? I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. Oh, nothing but skulls in there. There you are, Darius. You got a disease a second time. Oh. Hold on. My camera needs to be fixed. Just a minute, guys. folks
Okay, I'm good. Now let's get, let's pick, let's finish this. Here we go. Stop on my camera, guys. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. You mean just Doctor? Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe... You said that last time. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Yeah. How do you feel, Mr. I would not even... Yes, you do. Please, take this. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. True. Goodbye, Mr. Alright. Hello there. Good evening, Shaoshu. Hello, Shaoshun. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? My only relief is that my Matthew died before seeing the madness that approaches. Oh no. I... Camera's messing up again. Hold up, folks. I'm gonna check it one more time. Again. Okay. Oops. Gonna fix it. Stopping just to fix my cam face cam. Okay. All right, all right, folks. Sorry about all that. I'm ready. How do you feel? Back in Whitechapel. I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. Do be careful. These streets can be as dangerous as that terrible place where we first met. That's true. And maybe it's the best reason to help people around here. Oh, hint failed. How do you feel, <laughs> physically speaking? I... You should recover quickly after taking this. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Goodbye for now.
Sorry about the face cam, guys. I'm gonna look for Albert. And Harry. There's Albert. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. <laughs> Do you need assistance? Please. I'm feeling tired. Th there you go. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. See here. Where's Richard? Okay, I'm gonna keep searching, folks. Investigating the citizens' action. It's locked. Door's friggin' locked. Let's go look around. Now we're going to fight this beast. That's more like it. Now, can I go back and find the other folks that are sick? Please. Again, with the loading stuff. Kill some skulls. There's some blood here. You stop lagging. Blinker skull. He's my problem here. Got a counter. See my skill? Why exactly do I keep hearing a bell? Knock it off of the lagging.
Oh my god, a beast. Why are you dodging? Is this where you got that box last time? I don't know, I'm gonna check the investigation for a mason. That's a dead end. Again. Where'd you come from? She's nullified. That doesn't even affect her. She explodes on contact, so do not go near her. Oh. And by the way... We're gonna have to s still find... Folks, and cure them. <laughs> this area is full of skulls in there. I get some blood. I have this thirst for blood. I'm eating a lot of rats just to drink their blood. Tell. You know what, never mind that, right? Still gotta investigate. Got some Econs here. Shadow Econs, they're more annoying. Stupid newborn! Are you from Ascola? Ah, I don't care! I care! Now you're annoying me. Annoying. Stop sh shooting blood at me. Cowards are good. Yes. 
disgusting. Yeah, he drains your blood away. Why did you dodge? Then you can. Econs are nothing but jerks. Whoa. Good evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you? What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Uh. Any folks like you? letter let's talk to him again what can I do goodbye me tell me hey, sir how do you see the world these days It's locked. Well, nothing to see here, folks. Pretty sure it's going to be hard to find. I digress anyway. Oops. Can't be distracted. Wandering in this. White Econs. Buzz off. You can't escape. You still gotta fight. These guys find shadow. Your prey is mine now. Your prey is mine now. That's it. You're dead. What is this, George's Bizarre Banjo? Do you have a stand user? Would you stop that? <gasps> uh oh. All right, whatever. It ain't human. Kill it. Over there. There's one of them vermin. You stop the, the counter. Go to Renance. then I probably need to go finished why am I farming so many XP lost. It's one of them! 
Leave me alone. How do I get up there? All you gotta do is kill those guys first. Get some blood. What's wrong with you? Enough! Seeing is those prewin punks. Yeah. Setting me on fire, you prewin punk. Alright, that's enough. So many annoying bad guys here. Econs! Get away from me. Keep loading, please. Guys are starting to annoy me. Blood spear. Some blood. Now it's your turn. Seriously, though. I should be able to go to the West End right about now. God. Oh my God, is she exploding? Those pre-win guys. That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. No, they don't. But what do we have here? Pre-win exterminators. 
Yeah, they're strong. And they're friggin' annoying. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Yeah. There's a fountain. Three wins. Kill those guys. He's dead now. Is that France? The Ascalon Club. The heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I this would... This is Charlotte. What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. All right. That that's just Charlotte Ashbury. This is Elizabeth's daughter. Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see, and one day I'll have my death to face. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. Ekon? And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16, though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. True. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really are Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh. Now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette, too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, 
She got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. Emily is missing. New investigation begins. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Okay. Check our map. Let's see here. Let's track. She appears in the North Docks. Before we go to the Ascalon Club, we're gonna have to go. Who's this man? Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Oh, come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. Well, I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. This is Clarence Crossley. He happens to be an old friend of, of Jonathan. His sickness, he, is, he has a migraine. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. Of course not. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? What? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here, too. They're everywhere. Vampires. A lot of vampires, man. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other, and so many things have happened. But you're alive. You returned in one piece, and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Yeah. Venus Crossley, that's Clarence's wife. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. All right. That's the door from the other side. We're in Finsbury Gate. Now exactly where are we? track. Why am I going the wrong way all of a sudden? Okay.
and inside. Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I am so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. This is Venus. You need to have a mesmerized level four. Forgive me. We I'll tell you what. What's her sickness, by the way? She's healthy. Okay, I gotta check my map. For one second, I one. Don't worry about him. It's just an annoying punk. Uh, you still got to be at a mesmerized level four right now, so let's go. Who's that guy in a monocule glasses? Calhoun. Let's talk to him. It's locked, all right. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome Calhoun you. Russell. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Let's check his sickness. He's healthy. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. Ew. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions. But nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please share the address. New investigation. Surprise for the London's Lone, lone Gourmet. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. I'm afraid the newspapers are seriously underestimating the situation. Things are critical. I choose it's false. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? Yeah, it is false. Best use that so that the new hint will be available. <laughs> I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. What does he got here? Red plates, good handle parts, good trigger parts. Tiny good.
All right. That's good, folks. That's totally good. Let's try the investigation. Gotta go everywhere. got to find an exceptional restaurant for Mr. Russell. Gotta be somewhere I can do. Ill formed blinker skulls. Okay, that hurt. to be very careful when she explodes. Okay, so this is the Rain Mansion. Mr. Kimura is in trouble. Got to save him. Somehow. Whoa! Econs! In Econs! Got another endangered citizen. Sorry, sword attack. Don't you know it's kind of like Raphael from Soul Calibur. Ouch. What are you doing? Stupid newborn. I am not stupid. of stars has been succeeded. Let's talk to this guy. Mr. Kimura. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. 
I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. What's next? Investigation is totally done. Save Mr. Kimura's life. Oh, we got the ink pen. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. So this is the butler. Okay. I need to check my map, please. going to this area. Hope it's this one. Fresh water. As long as it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. Oh, this is fresh water. Let's check, shall we? Okay. Now we got free wind scums over here. Over there! There's one of them burning! Fuck his boss! Wow, he is fast. And my game is lagging. What the heck is going on? Keep shooting me. Let's pin it down. That hurts. More blood. Oh, that hurts. A little bit. Impressive. There's another archer. Take that. <sighs> Rogue skulls. 
Oh, that hurts. This is obnoxious. She's obnoxiously strong. Uh oh. Go away. Must die. Disgusting punk. Yeah, make sure you stay away from her. She would take you with her. What's it with skulls? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Oh my god. I'm almost down. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Come on. I'll place the marker. I cannot enter. I want to open it on this side. Nope. Stupid free win. Want a piece of me? I'm about to die. This guy is so annoying. Oh my god, stop that. Gotcha. We're in the temple garden right now. Oh, you gotta hear some Freeman rookies. It's locked. Wakefield Chocolate Store. How exactly can I get up there? Ah, I see. Just get inside. Go up there and get inside the chocolate store. Open that door from the other side. Booyah! Got some shillings. Codeine. Let's see here. Check your map already. 
This isn't a restaurant. This is a chocolate store. We got a good double barreled. Rock on, Jonathan. Rock. We got a skull over here. He's in there. Done like dinner. Why is this game lagging all the time? More braille. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Another braille? No kidding. Check one more time. Hang on. Again. All right. All good. No. Hold up. Exceptional restaurant. I see. It's hurting for me. Folks. Now, where is there a restaurant when you need one? Or a cowhound? This is a clothing store. The Blind Gourmet's menu. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. Very intriguing. What's next? Go see Mr. Calhoun. Alrighty, guys. Come on, load already. Jeez. I'm getting irritated right now. Get in there. Don't fall through. Just get in there, Jonathan. See what's in there. Oh, that again. <laughs> you already got the water. The pure water will be for the plants. That was the one I was talking about last time.
We should be going to the hospital. Oh no. Not another skull. I cannot enter. Oh, you can't enter. Say. Come on. Come on. Good evening, Doc. I have found a restaurant that could satisfy you, Mr. Russell. The most intriguing and exotic restaurant in London. Really? You have piqued my interest. Where is it? It's a place where you eat in complete darkness and try to identify your meal without anything but your palate. My, oh my, how interesting. It could even be fun to eat a little poisson et fruit that way. Oh, oh thank et you, frites? Dr. Reed. What's that Please mean? have this for your research. Thank you. 200 shillings. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. All right. All right, Let's see who's in there. We're in the Reed Mansion. We're gonna meet our butler. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan. This is Avery. I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were. Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. He's healthy. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Hmm. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir, but your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. That's true. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. True. Right. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Okay. <sighs> hey, folks. We're still gonna go find... 
I'm gonna find Jonathan's mom. That's that's the mother. Emmeline. Mother. Good evening. Jonathan! Is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes. But this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. She misses her grandson. She's healthy. Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. Mm. Jonathan had a nephew. Okay. Let's go. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. All right, we'll do, ma'am. Yes, Jonathan. Spending next summer in France. All right. We're out of the mansion for now. Women die too in this war. Yeah. Okay. Okay now. I think it's about time we go put the water in our office. Uh oh, there's another person. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am. This is. I am. Karina Billow. Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Please, help me to disobey the voice. Ew, that's disgusting. What happened to you? The rats. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones. Their Ugh, juicy, gross. tiny brains. Miss Billow, please, try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. That's sick. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, doctor. She's got a split personality. Kind of reminding me of twice from my hero academia, right? Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes. Please. Help. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Goodbye, ma'am. Best stay out of trouble. 
Hi, Clarence. Gotta get to the hospital. If we go to the hospital, we'll head to the, uh, to the Ascalon Club. Definitely will. There are folks that we gotta cure. Oh no, free wins. Is killing an echo? Come on, load already. Jeez. Your prey is mine now. I'll oh my goodness. Now they, now they sound like Rex Raptor from Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> an ambush. Success. Let's see if I can check our map. Probably get rid of that. Break these objects. Okay. Why lag? Go away! Okay, seriously, that's enough. Where are we going? Should be going to the hospital now. So that we could water the plant. I don't have time to deal with punks like you. But enough said. Let's go. Stay away from me! Listen, unless you want to get your butt kicked. Just you leave me alone right now. Leave me alone now. Oh my god. It'll take... a minute and 40 seconds for the ultimate teeth to respawn. Anyways, we're going back to the Pembroke Hospital. No lagging already. Just load. When I get back, I'll have a word with him. He's really <laughs> He says, he's really pissed me off this time. He's cranky. Done. Hurrah. Alright. Tig. We need tiny good handle parts. 
definitely do. But I digress, folks. Booyah. Try this. All we need is five more good handle parts, that's for sure. Just upgraded my axe recently. Now it's time to go. From now on, we're heading back to the Escalon Club this time. That's good. Crush the leech, boy! Seriously? I'm not done for it, bud. Oops. Getting more blood. Cool. Love this axe. <sighs> At least I'm doing the right thing. That should keep me out of trouble. Which is why I need to stay out of trouble. You should know better than to mess with me. Starting to bug me, pal. Come on, proceed. Gotta go to the Echelon Club. Going back to the West End this time. We think you can let your guard down. Warning leaflet. West End murders. West Enders must unite. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them control you. They're all among us. They lust after your soul. Vampires are real. Defend your community. This public warning leaflet has been financially distributed by Mr. Crossley. For more information, please contact him directly and attend his next public lecture. Uh, wow. From Clarence Crossley. New hints available. We're gonna he get inside, folks. See if there's anything else. No lagging. Mm. 
Rot blood is not as potent or tasty as human source, but it will partially refill up your blood health. Your blood bar. Here we are, folks. Ascalon Club. Do you know where you are standing right now? This is In Arthur front of the Pimbleton. Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. That's Lady Ashbury. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. All right. There has been quite a battle here. We're going to meet Lord Redgrave. Arthur Pembleton is healthy. So that's I'm sure great. the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. True. There's a lot of blood out there. Another collectible. Sweet. You know, this mansion kind of reminded me of Arclay Mansion from Resident Evil 1. We're heading back. Oh, there were two dark paths. Cool. Anyway, folks, we're gonna head back and go meet up with Redgrave. back. Now let's look in there. Got some shillings. What's this? Aluminum based items. Nothing else. 
Then I go upstairs. Good dagger. It's locked, all right. <laughs> it is locked. Some screws. The key of the Ascalon Club basement. We're going to head down to the basement first. No, this is the, this is another entrance. Can't enter. Oh. Well, we got Hammersley, Finney, Hutchinson, a lot of new folks out of here. locked all right yeah it's locked all right but where is Redgrave I'll talk to him again welcome to the Ascalon Club then Dr. Reed you said it already dude okay I'm just gonna head upstairs check Come on, get in there. Good evening. Good evening to you. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, 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 here. Fergal Bansher, he was a bit of Come a jerk. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave. Earl of Bristol and chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She's a close friend, and I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. Is that the a bloodshot? have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord. Do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this scowl plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why have you asked me here? 
because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the guard of Prewen, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the Assembly formally, and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing <laughs> fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is, Is his blood, blood pure? pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown? Two Williams. As he did? There are two Williams in this one. Yes, I will. First, it was William Bishop, the Skull. Then young Ekon, it is now time it's William Marshall. To testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. your hand you using your blood as ink red ink it's just mm, like the blood delightful. welcome to the Ascalon Club Dr. Reed take your place among the bearers of the lance one of us one, one of us, us. This is awesome. Are there any folks that I need to talk? I personally went patrolling last night in the West End. And Good I evening, Doctor Reed. How does it feel this to is be the centerpiece? Figuratively. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Aloysius Dawson. Mr. Dawson? of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. 
to cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A wall? A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. See. Complete isolation has proven effective throughout history, but the death toll has always been a high one. I am glad you understand the concept of necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Yeah. Still gotta talk to Redgrave. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparer. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Yeah. I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Okay. New mesmerized level. Level four. Family portraits. Find the sources of the infection in the West End. You gotta question the spokes about the infection in the West End. Let's talk to those folks. They must have spent years preparing their plans. No, you can't talk to them. How is your investigation? I have a few questions. All right, but be. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Okay. Godspeed to you, sir. All right, folks. I'm gonna rest.
I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. True. But I think it's time we wrap this up. Women die too in this war. I said a little 29. Ouch. It's a good thing I got some blood. Good rank. Not yet. Hideout of Reed's Mansion. You can rest there too. Oh, nice. And you can craft as well. order. Let's check one more time for the cost. All we need is 6,000. Capacity. Okay, you know what? Let's see here. This is worth 2,000. We need fast regeneration. All good. Let's see what happens in the following night, folks. Now all folks are healthy, except we haven't met these. We haven't met those guys yet. Stable. Harry's not even healthy. He's still sick. Oh my god. Clay is sick again. We gotta cure both and Rodney. Velocia Stolson is the main pillar. But for now, 
We're gonna end the stream, guys. Okay. I'll be farming more XP off stream, guys. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, toodles.